Hello, you guys. I know I said I'm gonna do one story at a time, but I, I really can't. I really can't. It, it, it bores the fuck out of me. So we are gonna be starting Emerald as well. So th this is how it's gonna go. Whatever I feel like recording is what I'm gonna record. Simple as that. Um, uh, okay, girl. You're about to travel to time. You about to time travel to a time and place of a legend. Stop it! You will embark on a journey of true terror, adventure, love, and magic. This is Emerald. <laughs> she comes from a poor family on the outskirts of the king kingdom Roland. She will soon be 18 years old. Emerald, although poor, had a beauty unmatched to any other. Her eyes were beautiful emerald green. That's what I named her emerald. Um, this, of course, is how she got her name, obviously. Her hair, um, was the color of fire it. Mm, that stiff ass hair, baby. This long hair is, I don't know. Let's try again. Let's see, red and black. No. Mm -mm. Golden. No. Nope. I'm going to go with the red, y'all. Yeah, I'm sure. She was always kind and humble. And it sounds like... Her skin was... Look at... <laughs> Dallas. Sweet caramel. Yeah. Dallas, you can't go downstairs by yourself. You almost killed yourself. Emerald, however, was abandoned as an infant. But she was found by a couple who could uh, not have children of their own. Mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Her new parents <laughs> used to... Her new parents used to to pray to the light ancestors for a child. So when they found the baby, uh, when they found the abandoned baby, they raised their her as their own child. Her parents vowed to love her dearly and unconditionally. Whew. And Emerald, of course, loved her new parents as much, oh, just as much. However, her parents were very strangely overprotective of Emerald. Because of this, Emerald grew up as a very lonely child. They lived in a secluded cabin no one ever visited. She was never allowed to any public places or gatherings. Emerald was shut away from the world. Emerald sounded like she got kidnapped, bitch. I think Emerald got kidnapped, y'all. I, I don't think <laughs> her parents, <laughs> I don't think her parents just, you know, left their baby. I think the bitch got kidnapped. <laughs> the Emerald's life was about to change. Every girl in the kingdom of Roland is to be married on their 18th birthday. The groom is arranged in the secret, in secret from the bride. Okay, wait a minute. Only the groom and the parents of the bride know any details of the arrangement. Most marriages were based on class, title, or did it say station? But in rare cases, love. Eh. Much more will be explained later. But for now, let us begin our story. Please, shit. I can't believe I'm finally leaving tomorrow. 
I bet my husband is handsome. Oh, I'm sure of it. <laughs> and kind. And of course, romantic. Girl, I bet you ain't none of that shit, child. <laughs> As you may already be able to tell, Emerald had been dreaming about this moment for a long time. She would be free of her parents of, her, of protection. She could finally see the world. Sigh. Emerald looked down at the necklace her mother had given her earlier today. Her parents could uh, never afford <laughs> such things and she knew her mother had spent all her savings for it. The necklace was... Stop! was an ex exact replica of the one her mother wore. I wonder how often I will see mother and father once I am gone. It's getting late. I should get some sleep. Papa and I have to learn. Have to leave in the morning. Have to learn. Where are you going? You just go. Okay. You just living on the dangerous side of life, huh? You just jumping off shit now? Alright. Uh, look at her bloomers, y'all. I think I'll blow out the candles and get some rest. Girl, you know for a bitch that live in the woods, she sure got on some Victoria's Secrets. Meanwhile, who the hell is that? Who the hell are over there? Ebony, let's uh, just leave already. I'm tired. I wish the Dark Ancestor soldiers didn't have the ability to read minds. I heard that, sis. Then stop thinking, uh, will you? You're driving me crazy, but I'm hungry. I'm going to feed you my fist if you don't stop whining. We can't go back to the dark realm without any souls. You know that. But there's, well, but there is no one out anymore at night. No one is stupid enough to be out right now. I heard there was a secluded house just outside of the kingdom. A poor family and, a, and, a sm and small too. No connections to anyone. So, they're probably bunked in. You know we can't enter homes. I have a plan. What kind of plan? I'll explain later. It looks like it'll have to wait until tomorrow though. Uh, it's going to be daylight before we arrive. Does that mean I can eat, finally eat? Yes, you idiot. If it will make you shut up. <laughs> y'all really not talking girl why do you always have to be so mean hurry up brother we need to find cover before daylight I see a cave up ahead we can hide out there until the next nightfall that morning morning already we leave today time to get ready um let's see what this blue be hitting like y'all y'all know blue my favorite color um, let's go, cause, oh no, are all of her outfits like this? Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, girl, all her outfits are like that, girl. Okay, let's, let's calm down, girl. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this shitty ass outfit of blue. Um, I feel like it's missing something. Will you hurry up, Emerald? We need to get um to Hollow Do it Hollowdale before dark. Rupert <laughs> well, Will you please give the girl a minute? We may never see her uh, once she's married off. My baby Emerald, my little <coughs> Emmy girl. <laughs> Okay. You're right, darling. I just don't want this man to back out because we were late. I don't know how patient this man is. What if he backs out of the deal all because we were not on time? Emerald needs this. She deserves this life we could we could ever give her. Ready, Daddy. You look lovely, Emerald. Does she really? Does she really? She got on what you got on, girl. Just a different color. Y'all look horrible. Um, do you have the necklace I got you? Yes, Mom. I love it so much. It's just like yours. I'll always remember you when I wear it. Then think of me always, darling. Never remove it. Promise? Never. I promise. Let's go and be... Uh, we must not waste any more time.
Yes, father. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye, <laughs> my darling. <laughs> and so to the light, please, if you can hear me, watch over my darling Emerald. Please keep us safe. The light ancestors had always had his eye on Emerald. Unknown to, to Ellen and even Emerald herself. Emerald had the favor of the light on her side. But even the light ancestor could only do so much. That night, Emerald and Rupert left. Oh, damn. Told you, brother. The dark ancestor is going to be thrilled. You remember the plan? Uh, yeah. I'm serious. Don't screw this up. Stop, stop that. I told you I understand. Whoops. Sorry. Cole. You're going to... You're an idiot. Uh-huh. I am not. Okay. Ooh, you can still make that... Oh, wait. Can you still make that sound? Yep, I practice my impressions. And, wait, impersonations. Every night... That's just weird, Cole. What? Okay, forget that. Let's just do this. Okay, fine. Ready when you are. What on earth? Is that a baby outside? This time of night? I'm coming, little one. Damn. Where are you, darling? Where are you? What? Stop it. Dark, dark soldiers. <laughs> In the flesh, lady. The plan works like a charm. Please, not my soul. Your soul belongs to the darkness now, old lady. I'm begging you now. Dark spirits, I call upon you to capture this soul. No. Oh, 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 oh. He cracking the fuck up. <laughs> oh, leave at once. Oh, bitch, okay. A light spirit. Run. Dear Evelyn, you have done well. Emerald is everything the light answers had hoped for. You have taught her to be kind and caring and a caring young woman. You have protected her and taught her love and compassion. She has a pure heart and the soul of a fighter. All because of you and the love you gave her. For this outstanding deed, the Light Ancestor offers you a gift. Although your body cannot be saved, your spirit will live on in the realm of light. Huh. Welcome to your new home, um, Evelyn. Which one the author? Like the story so far? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Are you ready to follow Emma on her epic journey? <sighs> Can you brave the danger ahead? Is this is is your heart prepared for love? What? And possibly heartbreak? Mm. Are you ready to unmask many secrets of the past? Continue to read Emerald to find out what happens next. Be sure to add this story to favorites and share, share, share. To be continued. Okay, guys, that was okay. I guess I don't. I don't. I don't really know. I guess we'll really find out when we get to episode two.